New York Lynx visited an intimate Kwanzaa celebration last weekend. Stacy has a story. Hi, I'm Stacy, and I'm here at a small intimate gathering for Kwanzaa. Check it out. The Sankofa Community Empowerment Organization produced this event here at Food for Thought Cafe. All right, let's give it up for the three ladies. Participants repeated poetry, beat the drums, and gave songs of praise. The question of the day, what does Kwanzaa mean to you? Tell me, what does Kwanzaa mean for you? Kwanzaa, uh, to me, is really just an opportunity, um, you know, during the holiday season to celebrate, um, you know, celebrate the Nguza Saba principles. A lot, a lot of times people around the holiday times, they just think about what they're going to receive, um, but they really don't challenge themselves um, to be better better human beings, to build the community. Those Nguza Saba principles, are. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to really teach our community community, about our ancestors, about our culture, about our heritage, and ways to practically apply those Nguza Saba principles to our day-to-day -day life. Kwanzaa is a unique opportunity for people in, from the, in the African diaspora to celebrate unity, to celebrate faith, to celebrate together. I think members of the African American community, the African community, the Caribbean community, often we feel disjointed and we don't have a shared religion. We don't have a particular shared language. What we do have is a shared sense of faith and the need for us to come together in terms of unity, in terms of economics. So Kwanzaa is an opportunity for us to come together and really celebrate something that isn't something that divides us, but it really brings us together. Kwanzaa to me is um, different families coming together and, and just celebrating their culture. For me, Kwanzaa is the culmination of so much work that um, myself as an activist and a writer does throughout the year. You know, it's a, it's a time for everybody, black people, to get together and be friendly towards one another and really practice the things that may we do individually through the year that we can do together as one at the end of the year and be happy and just celebrate um, ourselves as people and ourselves, you know, ourselves as a family and as a community. So now, now, more than ever, more than ever, all the brothers and sisters, all the brothers and sisters must come together. Must come together. Must come together. All sisters everywhere. everywhere must see the time is in the air come in blood clothes come in veins come in eyes all see the same now 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 more than ever all the brothers and sisters must come together It's Zinx TV's inside look at Kwanzaa for this year, coming from Food for Thought. In New York City, Kwanzaa is celebrated in several different ways. This is just a brief snapshot of Kwanzaa. This is Stacy signing off for New York Links, Zinc TV.